So most people think that AI can help you write code, but not actually ship a real quality all-in-one integrated product. So today we're gonna try something. I'm gonna go from idea to fully deployed comprehensive SaaS app with a live demo in one video using an AI platform that we haven't looked at yet on this channel called Blink.new. So this won't be a prototype or a mock-up. We're gonna build with AI a completely real working product with off database hosting, backend and AI features that anyone can use. And you'll see exactly how it's done so that after watching this video, you can start building your own end-to-end -end apps with AI and bringing your ideas to life. That's it. Let's go. Now, first, the general problem with vibe coding is that if you've ever tried to build even the simplest tool with AI, you know where this goes and where exactly it gets difficult. It's probably not the code itself. It's setting up environments, it's API keys, hosting configs, missing dependencies, right? Databases, and then finally deployment. It's a little minutia, the actual parts of deployment, not just the features themselves, which means that if you don't have this massive background or extensive experience in programming, by the time you see hello world, you've lost the whole weekend if you can even get there. So Blink.new again is a platform that we haven't looked at yet on this channel and they're an AI app builder that brings your ideas and turns them into deployable real world products in minutes. And this isn't front end only, this is a full stack builder. So the front end, but also the back end, database, uh, storage, hosting, native AI features, a global CDN and auto scaling infrastructure. So that's all included, all automatic. You just describe the app you want and Blink will generate the entire product. And that's from architecture through deployment. So we're going to try to build something that's extremely practical down to earth. This will be an AI workspace dashboard generator. So it'll be a SaaS type tool that lets you generate Notion style dashboards based on a prompt. So there's a lot that goes into a project like this. So let's jump into my computer and we'll walk through actually building it. Okay, so we're inside my computer and what you're seeing right here here is the blink.new dashboard. As far as the little tour goes, right here is where you can chat with the agent that's gonna help us build our SaaS or with Blink itself, if you wanna think of it like that. Note that you can import code from a GitHub project or from a zip file if you'd like. You can also select the actual agent, the underlying AI model that you want to build for you. Otherwise, it'll just automatically choose what is best. And I recommend just leaving it on auto. And then if you scroll down, you can see other SaaS apps that have been built by all kinds of community members right here. But we want to focus on our AI workspace dashboard generator. So I'm going to paste this prompt right here that just says, hey, build a SaaS web app. I want users to log in, generate Notion style dashboards using AI. And then we also want payments and so on integrated. We'll keep it public. Let's click start building. So you can see from the get-go, this is automatically importing, you know, Stripe integration, connecting us to a custom domain, basically building the back end, doing everything else other than just the code that's required to actually deploy real apps. So that is the focus and the advantage of an end-to-end -end solution. Now up here in preview, this is where we can actually see what's going to be built. And then we can also go to code to see the actual files and then also the database to see what information is being stored. So now we have a to-do list that's generated here on the left. So we have a blink SDK with auth, we have a database schema, authentication pages, the dashboard actual generator, gallery page, and so on. So a lot for blink to work on and looks like step one is being handled right now. And so while Blink is building, here are a few points about the platform and how to best use it. So first, Blink has the full context of your entire code base, runtime, and browser console. So it will self-diagnose and debug in real time before the problems start or things break. So Blink actually produces 95% fewer errors than Lovable, Bolt, Replit, and BO, and they actually did measure that, which is a really impressive stat. Now, number two, there are native AI integrations this is really important if you're building on it. That means chat, image, and voice AI is built in. So no API keys, no setup, those AI features just natively work. And then as far as the output, that is fully production and scale ready. And so specifically every Blink app is deployed on auto scaling infrastructure in a global CDN or content delivery network. That means the app we're building right now could serve a billion users literally today without server setup or a hosting bill surprise. Okay, so it's been another minute or so so, and it is already done. It's called the project dashboard AI. So create beautiful 
dashboards in seconds with AI. This is what the homepage looks like. Pretty standard, good looking SaaS. So let's go ahead and click get started and see if this actually functions. So you can see the account feature works perfectly. That is authentication. It's actually stored in the database on the back end. And then this is where we can see the native AI integration that I mentioned. So what's happening in here is we can actually have a kind of subset of feature, the actual use case for the SaaS for people who can create dashboards with AI. So let's say I want a project management dashboard for my sales team. We'll just say CRM style. We're gonna leave it pretty general and see what the dashboard AI SaaS can do. Now, if we were doing this properly, these tips are exactly what we'd wanna do. So be more specific about the type of data or metrics that, that we want. Uh, but you can see it generated right here, the sales project management dashboard we have for four little quadrants. And once we publish this, there's there'll be more depth and we can really engage with it. But then also we can save the dashboard or export as a PDF. I'll click save and it says that it has saved that successfully. And then I can go to gallery as well and I can see exactly what was created. I can go ahead and view that, delete it, do whatever I want. But now let's say I want to add a few features, right? We don't have to stop. Remember, this was literally one prompt. You can see that here, nothing going on. One prompt and it built all of this. So let's say, hey, I want to add team accounts, dashboard sharing, color theme selector, and dark mode toggle, and we'll let the agent get to work on that. So we can see the agent created another to-do list on the left here. And then after it finishes, we'll actually deploy the app and go test the live version on the internet. And one quick note I do wanna make here, you can see it's just about done, is that this little message says, found some errors, right? So it is debugging, like I just said, in real time. And if it finds those errors, it goes ahead and fixes them. Okay, so here is the finished version. This looks good. Let's go ahead and click publish. Okay, and here is the live version online. Once again, I'll click get started. We'll create an account. Okay, and here's what it looks like inside the SaaS app. And also if we want to add a paywall here, all we do is click connect Stripe right around there. Okay, so let's go ahead and generate a sales analytics dashboard. Again, we'll leave this very open-ended and just see what dashboard AI can do. Okay, so we can see the dashboard was successfully generated and this one is sales analytics. So we can see various different analytics related notion style dashboard elements right here. If we wanna save it, we just click save or we can export that as a PDF. We can go to the gallery and we can go ahead and view that dashboard. So this is fully functional in accordance with the prompts that we gave Blink. And again, anything else we want, you can also see a little pricing page that was generated here. And so anything else we want, we just ask the agent if we can get it built. And then also going back to here, I did switch to light mode. We can see the actual code, so the files, if you want to edit them. And then inside of the database, we can see all the different databases. So users, team members, dashboards, tokens, etc. Okay, now a huge question that I always always have with tools like this. And also something that's been doing the rounds, especially on social media lately, and that's in regard to OpenAI, is who actually owns the code? Because theoretically, if you code this on their platform and it works, do they have the right to just go and take it and do it for themselves? Well, with some other platforms, yes. With Blink, no. So everything Blink generates, so the idea, the code base, the assets is 100% commercially yours. And so Blink is backed by Y Combinator, led by Stanford engineers, and built by an AI native team, which is designing systems that actually ship. So it's a pretty cool team. And again, the big point there is that everything you make, you 100%, whether the ideas, the code, the assets, own the rights to even for commercial usage. So if you want to build real end-to-end -end deployable, scalable apps like this, you can try Blink.new yourself completely for free. Just head to Blink.new or the link in the description and your next startup, your idea could be in the world literally five minutes from now. Again, completely free to try. So make sure to visit Blink.new or that link is in the description. Go hit the link. That said, thank you all for watching and I'll see you all in the next one.